If you are in Minneapolis, you may be running into an inventory shortage, right? The market, the availability of rental housing in Minneapolis is at an all-time low, right? So today I'm working with a client from Minneapolis, helping him think outside the box, expand his search and seek other markets with cash flow rental properties so he can keep his business rolling. If that is something that interests you, let's go. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys. Put down 25%. That's the perfect way to buy this. That's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world. Welcome to the show, folks. I am James Wise, and I am here to help you guys invest in real estate, right? As said at the top, I'm working with my man, uh, Mark. Mark is from Minneapolis, right? That's what I was talking about on the top, Minneapolis. He's from Minneapolis, Minnesota, and all you other minnesota ends. I don't know if that's like a thing. I don't know. Whatever. Issue is, Mark and a lot of you other folks from the Minneapolis area, you're dealing with a housing shortage, an inventory shortage. Pricing has gone up, right? It's happening throughout America. I mean, pricing is up. It's 2022. That's just where we're at, right? But in some markets, it's uh, pinching you guys, pinching the landlords a little less, right? So if you're only trying to find rental properties in and around where you live, uh, you know, that's very short-sighted and you're going to run into inventory issues, right? So what savvy investors, people like Mark, are doing is they're expanding their searches and, you know, with property management teams and technology and the things we have at our disposal in 2029, uh, it makes sense to invest where it makes sense, invest where the cash flow is and live where you you want right you shouldn't uh just look in your own backyard right and that's why mark hooked up with us and we happen to help investors invest in northeast ohio because it's one of the best cash flow markets in the u.s and mark you saw a duplex and you're like hey man this looks like it's really good but i don't know the market that well can you assist absolutely mark i'm going to go through the numbers on this bad boy for you uh, and if it makes sense, my team will be able to manage it for you. So let's jump into all that right now. Two, please. Welcome back. Now, this one, this is a pretty solid deal, right? This is in Cleveland Heights, Ohio, okay? So if anybody out there isn't familiar with Cleveland Heights, the first thing I think you should do, right, if you're not familiar with the Cleveland market in general, right, because here's the thing. This is the Cleveland metro area, the Cleveland housing market. You should not look just at the city of Cleveland, right? In the city of Cleveland, folks, it's like 340, 350, 360,000 people, something like that, right? We work the whole Northeast Ohio area. We're dealing with a population like three, four, five million, somewhere in there. I don't have the figures off the top of my head, but the point I'm trying to make is Cleveland itself is a small little subset of what we're doing, right? So what I've done, is I've created a document, a blog, an article, whatever you want to call it. It's called The Ultimate Guide to Grading Cleveland Neighborhoods. I graded all these areas on an A to F scale. A, high price, low risk. F, low price, high risk, right? And I explain what all the varying letter grades mean, okay? In there, you'll see that Cleveland Heights is rated as a B. But parts of Cleveland Heights get closer to, like, higher income stuff, and then other parts of... Uh, Cleveland Heights get closer to lower income stuff, so it really kind of sways, but that guide is a starting point. And then, of course, these videos are the pure due diligence, right? You want to you gotta start, you got to walk before you could run, right? That's a great starting point, but you really should fill, uh, follow up with these videos, okay? And what we have here 
is a property that is in the nicer, the more expensive area of Cleveland Heights. You're going to get a lot of high-quality tenants. You're going to get a ton of rent per unit, right, because of the close proximity uh, to downtown and all the various hospitals and things of that nature, right? So this one's been on the market for a little while, 38 days. Normally, we'd expect to see this move a little quicker. It's priced at 199 and the cool thing about this one is I think you're going to be able to score a deal here because the existing owner is renting these units way lower than they should, right? So when you get mom and pop landlords that make mistakes or they don't really understand the business, the rental market, they really shoot themselves in the foot. To be honest, if this was renting at market rate, I believe we'd be looking at a price point like two and a quarter, 230, something like that, right? Really nothing wrong with the units. They look fine. It's just the owner happens to be renting them for much less than they should, all right, and this is a side-by-side, -side, right? So the side-by-side -side layout is going to help, okay? See this? It's a basement, right? Separate basements, okay? You don't have tenants sharing a space. Updated electrical. So hot water tanks look a little old, but those are only $1,000 to replace, and you do that about every 15 years. So I'm sure in the next, like, five years, you're probably replacing those hot water tanks. But when you have a side-by-side -side layout like this, folks, you get more rent, you get longer tenancy. They don't have a shared basement, which is great because you know what we run into running a huge property management portfolio with a lot of shared basements? Like we literally have had like a panty thief at one point we had to deal with, right? Literally, dude from unit A is freaking stealing the underwear from lady from unit B's uh, dryer, right? That's an awkward conversation, right? And shit like that does happen, right? So to avoid shit like that, you want to move up in the asset class, which we've done here, right? This is a nice B-grade property. And then also, you could totally eliminate the common space for doing a side-by-side. -side. I've always loved the side-by-side -side properties much more than the up-down. But in the Cleveland market, what you need to understand is the up-down duplexes with uh, shared basements. That's like 95% of the duplex inventory, right? So these are very, very rare, these side-by-sides. So when you get the opportunity to buy one, you definitely should, especially when it's in a nice neighborhood of Cleveland. Like, look at this thing. This is a beast of a property. And here is where the the deal lies, right? Mr. Seller here doesn't really know what they're doing, I'm guessing, because they are renting those units for $890 and $895. Now, with the fact that we have a side-by-side -side layout, each of those units is huge, four beds in each unit, and the fact that our location is prime, dude, that is a money location, the market rent, sit down, this one's going to shock you a little bit, it should actually be $1,350, right? These massive, huge bedroom, huge square foot side-by-side -side units in this part of Cleveland Heights rent for a friggin' ton, right? So we should long-term be getting $2,700 a month or $3,200 a year, but of course you don't get to keep that. You still got your fixed and variable expense estimates, which comes in at a pure profit estimate of around sixteen k a year, right? And again, I believe we're going to be able to get a discount because Mr. Seller doesn't know that. Again, if you're already bringing in $1,350, dude, we're looking at a price point of at least two and a quarter on this bad boy. This guy's got super low rent, so I think we could probably pick it up at one ninety. dollars uh, Only put down forty-seven and a half. Bank kicks in another uh, 142 dollars Long term, you're looking at an eighteen percent return and you're in an area with incredible high demand and uh, the level the quality of your tenants uh, should always remain comparatively high to a lot of the other stuff you guys see us talk about here on the show, right? So I believe this will be just a nice, safe, sound, stable investment. I think this one is a winner. Uh, let me know if you want to put in an offer. And folks, if you like this type of service, you want to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, under the video on your phone, tablet, computer, whatever, uh, click the notes, book a free call. My team will get you your own personalized videos like this, and you can work with your boy Jay Wise one on one to invest in cash flow real estate. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.